What is crack a lacking, y'all? Hello, my name is Cody, and welcome back to another video from Pro Guides. We all know that box fighting can be super difficult, but it's also one of the most important parts of gameplay. This is one of the main reasons box fight wagers have become super popular lately and pros are constantly playing against one another to see who the best box fighters are. After analyzing a ton of different box fights from pros, we have prepared a top 10 list of the best box fighters. And in this video, we'll be going through that list and breaking it down. Boot, 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 fresh. But before we get into it, if you want to improve your box fights or any other aspect of your gameplay, you need to check out ProGuides.com. On our website, we offer courses from some of the best pros like Mongrel and Benji, and we're creating new ones weekly. From advanced building and editing guides, to scrim courses, to controller courses, and just so much more. We also have a ton of articles and guides to help you stay on top of the meta. Finally, on top of all this, we offer 24-7, that is right, 24-7 y'all, on-demand coaching to help you improve. If you want to be the best, you have got to check out ProGuides.com. Last thing before we get into this amazing video, let's do today's question of the day. Today's question is, who do you think the best box fighter is in Fortnite? Well, this list shows my answer at the number one spot, so I'd better not spoil it just yet, but let me know in the comments who you think is the best box fighter in the whole world. The whole world, y'all, the whole enchilada. Woo! There are a ton of players who are insane at box fights, so I'm really curious to hear what you all think. Anyway, let's get into our number 10 spot, which is Creo. Coming in at number 10 on our list, we've got Creo from Lazarus Esports. Creo is one of the most successful competitive players in the world. With over $1.1 million in total earnings and also getting fourth place in the World Cup solo finals. Creo is one of the world's best competitive players, but his box fighting skills are also phenomenal. Since he started playing wagers, we've seen Creo get some insane records, and he consistently stomps on most players who try to wager him on stream. You're coming at me, bro. Nice try. Creo for the win. He's also notorious for his amazing use of cone edits and his insane piece control, which is one of the main reasons he is so good. And guess what, knock knock, who's number nine? It's Envy Bucky, y'all. Coming in at number nine on our list, he also happens to be the duo of Creo, who we just talked about, my man, Bucky. Bucky has also been around in the competitive scene for a really long time. And he's not only known for competitive, but he's also known for his super quick mechanics and great use of angles in box fights. And also for his ridiculously good use of the peanut butter edit. By the way, the peanut butter edit is a nickname for that top right triangle edit you see the pros use. In fact, I think he's actually one of the best at the edit. Overall, Bucky is absolutely nuts as not only a competitive player, but he's easily among the top box fighters in the whole world as well. Good stuff, Bucky, keep it up. Coming in at eighth on our list, we've got TSM Zex Rowe. Where do I even start with Zex Rowe? Okay, first of all, he's actually one of the lowest sensitivity players on this list, with an EDPI of only 48. To put that into perspective, Benji Fishy plays on 112 EDPI, and Kanata, who we've talked about a ton in past videos, plays on 144. Those are a few higher sensitivity examples, but you get the point. He's also known for having some of the world's best aim that sometimes makes even some of the best aimers like Mongrel look like amateurs. Mongrel, no offense, dude. You know, I'm just giving my boy props. Zexro, you are a beast. So even though he hasn't got the world's greatest mechanics, although they're still really dang good, he fully makes up for it by hitting nearly every shot, making Zexro more than worthy of being on this list. All right, well, what in tarnations do we have here? Number seven, oops, it's Ops. Ops happens to be on the same team that Clix is on, and he is definitely one of the lesser known players on this list. However, don't let that distract you from his talent. He's mostly known for playing wagers with pros like Booga, Clix, Unknown, and so many others, but he's also amazing as a solo player. He's been involved in wagers since they first began to blow up, including dominating in multiple tournaments like Wednesday Wagers, where a ton of pros were matched up against one another. Overall, Ops is one of the most underrated box fighters in the world, and we think he is really just getting started. Oops, Ops. Uh, oops, Ops, Ops. Uh, oops, Ops. Hey, keep it up, Ops. Number seven, baby. Good stuff. All right, and look who is walking around the corner. Number six, my boy. Mongrel. 
Honestly, what's any Fortnite player list without the one name we all know and love? My boy Mongrel. I mean, what's there to say about Mongrel that hasn't been said already? He is one of the most amazing mechanical players in the whole world, has top tier aim, and has great game sense to top it all off. Ooh, that's a nice combo. And his communication in game is absolutely spectacular. As we all know, Mongrel is absolutely notorious for his, uh, let's just say, loud communication during his games. Loud, but lovely. But all jokes aside, Mongrel is an absolute legend when it comes to anything mechanical. And it's no different in terms of box fights. There's not much I can really say about him that we don't know already. The only reason he didn't make it into the top 5 was because he really hasn't been as active in wagers as some other players. But don't let that distract you from how amazing Mongrel actually is. And hey, speaking of Mongrel, we partnered up, did the dosi -si do, and worked on a new course. It's on our website, ProGuides.com. If you want to learn from the man, the myth, the legend, Mongrel himself, be sure to check that out. Moving into our number five spot, we've got the man himself, the NA East Cash Cup King, Kanata. Kanata has been blowing up like crazy lately for many reasons. First off, he has absolutely dominated cash cups since the beginning of chapter 2. Alongside this, he's been consistently placing highs since trios. And finally, the number one thing that made Kanata blow up like he has, we think is the fact that he played squads with Tifu, and they absolutely shredded it, bro! People realize just how underrated this guy is. Since then, Kanata has been dominating box fight wagers, starting off by playing with Tifu and then moving to play with other pros like Klix, who he also played with for Winter Royale duos, Macwood, and just so many others. Kanata has honestly blown up like crazy lately, and he is quickly becoming one of the most recognized and respected names in not only the competitive scene, but also the wager scene. I don't know if he's from Canada, but Kanata, you sweet like maple syrup. And behind door number four is my dude, Benji Fishy. He is another one of those players that we just know and we just love. From his inspiring background and story to his insane World Cup performance with Mr. Savage, his consistent domination in cash cups and other tournaments, what is there not to like about Benji? Even now, after securing hundreds of thousands of dollars in competitive and becoming one of the most successful players ever to step into the realm of Fortnite, Benji doesn't look like he's slowing down anytime soon. During the lack of competitive events, Benji has been absolutely grinding wagers with top players like Clix, Booga, Unknown, Mongrel, and so many others, even dominating on NA East servers as well. Alongside his insane building and editing, his aim is absolutely bonkers for someone who plays on a crazy high sensitivity like he does. Overall, Benji is one of the most consistent, high placing players in this chapter and has also proven to be insane on high ping and one of the world's best mechanical players. And we feel like a top 5 spot is only fair. You know, I bet my boy Benji could play on high ping, even have a side game of ping pong going, and still crush both. He is a legend, dude. Come on, get hit. Next up, we will be moving into the top three. Whoa, that's exciting. But before we get into the top three, we want to say these players on the list are all genuinely so close and have their own talents. So we want you guys to tell us in the comments who you think deserves the number one spot. We'll be choosing who we think it is as of today, but we really want to see what you all think as well, because it's such a close race. Let us know down below and let's get into number three, which is none other than the controller legend himself, Unknown Army. Cue DJ alarm. Let the bass drop. All right, Unknown is easily one of the world's best players right now. To start, he is one of the best mechanical controller players in the world, and he's super good at abusing his aim assist to get crazy lasers. These things are crazy, bro, I'm telling you. It obviously helps him a lot. Alongside this, he also knows keyboard and mouse and is actually shockingly good at it, with a top five cash cup finish on the keys. In terms of placements, he's been one of the most consistent players in the cash cups and has gotten so many first place cups that we can't even count them. He also plays first in NA East in the FNCS squad's grand finals, which is honestly insane. But in this video, we're talking about box fights, and Unknown definitely doesn't fall short, don't you worry. To start, Unknown has gone a hundred and zero in box fights. 
which is absolutely ridiculous, dude. Let me put that into perspective for you. That's 100 individual wagers against players who likely take the game seriously and are pretty good and have the confidence to put up money on their skills. No bad days, no unlucky fights or bad RNG, just pure talent and determination to be the best. On top of this, Unknown has been practicing with pros like Clix, Booga, and so many others to be the top tier. Take a look at the insane moment when Unknown reached his 100-0 record. And how does he get this kill? With the pickaxe, of course. Rewind time. No way. Why is my why is my wing up? I just got picked. GG bro. Oh, you are a freaking god, bro. Keep it up, man. Overall, Unknown is not only one of the best players in the world, but also one of the most well-rounded. And he is easily one of the top three box fighters in the game right now. If I walked into a box fight and I'm fighting against Unknown Army, I might just break down and cry right then and there. So if you guys do that too, it's okay, okay? I'm holding a little group, we're all gonna meet up, we're gonna have tears, we're gonna cry, we're gonna laugh. Oh, Unknown Army, you make us feel so many different ways. And we love you for it. Thank you, you are a legend, 100-0. Oh yes, let's go. All right, but you know, the legendary list does not stop there. Next up, we'll be taking a look at none other than the World Cup champ himself, Booga. And what is there to say about Booga that we don't already know? I mean, the dude is highest earning Fortnite player of all time and won 3 million bucks in the World Cup. 3 million dollars, y'all. Oh my god. And he has still been dominating ever since. But since we're on the topic of box fights, he's also been dominating in that department, winning big money wagers against pros every single day. And one thing about Booga that stands out a ton is how good he is in box fights in the actual game as well. I mean, Booga honestly hardly loses box fights in the actual game, like in cash cups, arena, tournaments, all that fun stuff. And that's the number one thing that makes him so unique in that aspect. Just that he brings his skills into the game effortlessly. So on top of winning $3 million, winning big money wagers on the daily and being one of the most skilled mechanical players in the world, Booga also brings all this skill into the game and stomps on everyone. And that on his own gives him the right to our number two spot. Whoa, good stuff. Don't stop on me, dude. Take off your Air Force Ones. Don't stop on me, dude, please. We get this reference? I hope so. Now, we will be moving into the number one spot, the player that we think is the world's best box fighter, and that person, ladies and gentlemen, is none other than the 15-year-old mechanical legend himself, MSF Clicks. I'm gonna say that one more time because it felt really good. MSF Clicks. Clicks has been one of the world's greatest players for a while now launching his insane competitive career by qualifying for the World Cup five times, then continuing to place high in World Cup, bringing home a boatload of cash, and moving on to become one of the world's greatest mechanical players. They're doing experiments right now to test if he's an actual robot, because we're not quite sure. Clix has been dominating wagers like crazy. He actually went 107 to zero at one point. That's right, 107 wager wins in a row. Most of these wagers were $20 or more as well, so these were some really good players. He also consistently dominates in big money wagers with pros, and he's just overall the best box fighter in the world right now, especially in terms of wagers. Quicks with the flicks. Keep it up, my boy. You are God mode. Overall, box fighting is an absolutely crucial part of the meta right now, and we suspect that it will be like this for a while. The best box fighters are often the players who perform best in tournaments and events, so overall, we feel like Clix is the best as of now, but who knows who it'll be in the future. Box fighting is super important, so don't forget to continue practicing it and working to improve, because who knows, you might just end up on this list. 
Thank you all so much for watching this video. We really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments who you think is the best box fighter in the world right now because I am curious to hear who you think it is. If you enjoyed the video, we'd appreciate a bunch if you could drop a like, subscribe, and maybe share the video with a few friends if you think it would help them. Remember to tell us in the comments what you'd like to see next on the channel. We read all your comments and we'll consider every idea. Also, be sure to check out ProGuides.com for some more amazing exclusive content that you won't find anywhere else. Once again, it's been your host, Coco Loco. You can follow me on Instagram at Coco Medler. Guys, you are awesome. Keep practicing. Just stay grinding and stay positive. Okay, that is the message and the motto, and that is what we are gonna do. Okay, I will see you guys later. Peace.